This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real learning, real videos, real success. In this demo, we're going to be working with restoring our databases. So let me paint a scenario for you. Imagine for a moment you get a contact from a colleague saying, oh my gosh, the database is down, I can't get into it at all. So you let them know, all right, I'll look into it. So we're going to go into our management studio and we're going to try and figure out what's wrong. So when we come into our environment, we go in, we take a look at our database, we notice that it's shut down. So I'm going to start it back up, see what's going on. So when we get it started back up, we'll refresh our databases and we'll notice that when it re-expands this folder, we're going to see that one of the databases is in recovery pending mode. And this is telling us that there's a problem with the MDF file. It's not able to see this database, so we can't interact with it, we can't get any additional information. If we were to go research the actual files, we'd see, sure enough, the MDF file is missing entirely. It's been corrupted or deleted or something of that nature. So with no MDF file, we know that we need to recover from our backups. So we're going to come in and just so you can see this, we can see the recovery pending in the GUI. We can also see it by running a select statement against our sys databases. I'll run that again real quick. There we go. So we run it again, our sys databases, and we say, oh, hey, look, it's in recovery pending. Now, we know that the MDF file is missing, so the first thing that we want to do before we go anywhere else is we want to do a tail log backup to make sure we have that last little bit of information in the log backed up as part of our recovery process. So we'll go ahead and run our tail log backup. That's adding in the continue after error to the regular backup log command. So we run our tail log backup. So now we know we've got that last bit of log successfully covered. Now we're ready to go back and recover our full backup of our database. Now, because we do have a log backup that we want to recover as well, you'll notice that we have the with no recovery command added on at the end. So this first pass, we're going to restore the database with no recovery so that we can do additional restores after the fact. So we now have restored the database in full. And we're also able to come down now and restore that log file that we created when we built our tail log. But this time, we're going to go with recovery. That means we want it to come all the way back online and be ready to use. So we run that command and is now recovering our tail log on top of the original database file backup recovery. And it's bringing it all the way into online status. And how do we know that? Well, we can check against our sys databases. And sure enough, it's online. If we were to refresh our folder over here in the GUI, we'd see that sure enough, we're back in business. Our DB log is fine. And as a final check, we're going to go ahead and pull data that was only available to us as part of the log file. It wasn't in the full backup. And we see that sure enough, the data is all back. We can select against that database. There's no more problems. We can contact our colleague and say, get back to work. So with that, hopefully you have a better idea of how we can use our T-SQL to manage the recovery process after a failure of the MDF file. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.